Welcome back guys. So in the last video I talked about two masses connected over a pulley in which the, they share common acceleration and a common tension. Now both these masses were actually vertical, right? Both these masses were vertical. Now in this video I will be talking about a situation in which one mass is going in a horizontal direction and the other mass is going in a vertical direction. Now what happens if a system like this is given to you? Get a system like this. You have a table or something like this, right? You have a table or something like this, and a mass will like this. So this is two kilograms. We'll take it. There's a pulley here. And this mass is six kilograms. This mass is six kilograms, right? So its well weight will be sixty. And there will be a tension because due to this mass. And since this is the same string, the, and there is no mass acceleration or friction that is building up in this pulley, the tension of this part should be equal to the tension of this part. That is actually this time. So the question is asking what is the value of tension and what is the acceleration. So there is no, since there is no acceleration of the pulley, the acceleration of this one is equal to the acceleration of this one. Whether or not you have an acceleration of the pulley, the acceleration should be the same because you they share the same string. There's a there's a relative acceleration. This system cannot maintain like this. It will have some effect and this will uh, linear linear thing like this is like you know, as if we are seeing from 3D this is like a road. The, this is like a road and this is like a road. Now if we have a different tension, a different acceleration here and different acceleration here. These two are the accelerations of these two are different, so their uh, relative acceleration is not zero relatively to Earth. So we can maintain the string like this. There will be some uh, some wave like forming here, some wave like forming here, depending on the relative acceleration. So we can uh, for we can uh, maintain the string like this. So the acceleration should be the same, and down here as well. So I'll so this should go down. Right? Now, what's the common tension? Now, you can put F equals m a to this mass, six kilograms. When you are taking, I'll take F equals m a. I'll put F equals m a so that the acceleration is positive. If the acceleration is positive, I should put F a F equals m a in the downward direction. So the downward force is six t minus t here. 6g minus t here equals to mass 6 times the acceleration is a. So this is the first equation we are getting. So here, uh, similarly you can put f equals m a to the second mass as well. Uh, so if you are taking two, uh, the 2 kilogram mass, f equals m a, so I am always putting f equals m a so that uh, the acceleration of the object is positive. So for the acceleration to be positive, f should be positive, so I will put the acceleration in this, to this side. In this direction. So the only force that is acting now on the object is t. That is the difference when one object is horizontal. When they both when both the objects were vertical, now only one object is in the vertical position and the other object up to this pulley. Now uh, from here, from the initial position to this pulley, this object will be more moving in the horizontal direction. So what is uh, happening when the one object is horizontal and the other object is vertical? Is that you know, for the object that is Moving in the horizontal direction, only the tension will be uh, acting as the force if there is no friction on this table. So, force of this is tension. So, the mass of this object is 2 and the acceleration is A. So, this is equation number 2. To find A, I can add up 1 and 2 so that the tension will cancel out. So, this is 6g minus t. Here, 6g minus t equals 6a and this is t equals 2a. Once I add up these two, this minus t and plus t will cancel out. So it will uh, the only force that acts uh, the total net force will be 6g. And when you add up 6a plus 2a, this is 8a. So 8a is equal to I'll take g 60, g plus 10. So this is 60, 60 by 8. 60 by 8 is equal to uh, 60 by 8. So this is 15 by 2, which is equal to 7.5 meters per second meters per square centimeter, right? meters per square centimeter, acceleration. 
7.5 meters per square second. So I will find the tension from equation 2. You don't need to subtract from 1. You can directly find from 2. From 2, T equals 2 times 7.5 meters per square second. So T is equal to 50 uh, newton. Tension is a force, so tension T is equal to 50 newton. Tension from equation 2. Right? So tension is 15 and the acceleration is 7.5 meters per square seconds. Uh, so that's the way how, as to how a pulley system like this can be behaved. So in this video I talked about what happens when one mass is on a table or one mass is moving horizontally and the other mass is moving vertically relative to the earth. So in the next video I will be talking about what happens when one mass is on an inclined plane and the other mass is moving. Very good. Alright, so thanks for watching this video and see you on the next video.